I will tell you in this video what creates homosexuality. I mean, they can't reproduce and make babies, but still, there are more and more of them. So how do they reproduce? First of all, religion says that people who practice homosexuality have demons sent by their master Satan, for which I have no proofs, neither the pros nor the contrasts. So I won't exclude that possibility. What I do know is that when a female takes the anti-conception pill starting at the age of 13 and doctor explaining how her period will go easier until the age of 33 when she has decided she has had enough fun and it's time for a baby. And this woman has been ingesting feminine hormones like gestogen and oestrogen for 20 years and greater part of her life. Do you think she'll piss it all out together with your sperm still inside and coming into the rivers so fish, frogs and birds of prey can't fecundate anymore? No, fortunately for the fish, but unfortunately for her own fetus, she won't piss it all out. So a lot of the feminine hormones get absorbed by her inner organs, will alter the, her DNA and twist her mind. The estrogens will stay in her kidneys, her liver and also her reproductive organs. So if she's pregnant with a little boy, he will suck up all the female hormones and for the rest of his life he will be searching for his stolen male hormones for his natural equilibrium and will try to find them in the hairy ass of another male. On the other hand there is another phenomenon involved that in the case of a feminine baby fetus plus the amount overdose of estrogens her organism will start to produce male hormones as a biological defense mechanism, thus making this girl hyped up with masculine hormones, attracting her to other females, creating lesbian behavior. Because of the surplus on female hormones and the body's masculine counter-defense reaction. This is the reason that Western women are so aggressive and behaving like men. They are no real women anymore. It's the same phenomenon of a bodybuilder taking lots of masculine testosterone growth hormones, which will eventually have him grow titties as the organism's biological countermeasure to reinstall the natural balance. Now, to get to the bottom of it, what global race has always been into homosexuality throughout history? The worldwide global nobility descended from pharaohs, aristocracy and the enemy within. So many kings, queens, dukes, marquises, counts, sultans, caliphs, emirs suffered sexual deviations as homosexuality, pedophilia, or raping our women through the Jus Prime Noctis. On the first night of your marriage in the Middle Ages, the kings or dukes police knights would come and pick up your newly wed wife for the first right rape in the castle by the nobleman of the pharaonic Per A lineage. At first she had problems opening up her legs, oh, but well, she got some wine to smoothen the operation, nice clean bed, good food, a bath, and it was a prince after all with good manners and smelling good. Not like her European man who was up to his neck into the cow sheds every day. So an alliance was formed with most European women and the ones who stayed loyal to their European men. They were all hunted down by the Swiss mercenaries under Templar command and burned alive 
at the stakes. This is a war on the patriarchy and has led to two world wars. Killing the man for the Horus Matrix to recreate man new, not anymore after the image of God and without a father to some tradition into manhood without the transcendent wisdom of the elders. This is the real sad story of Adam and Eve, which the devil wants to replace by Adam and Steve. It's all about the European woman called Eve, gone into a covenant with Pharaoh's aristocracy. Because the devil knows that a woman doesn't see the danger. Only the male and bull does. She's like a little bird that needs twigs for the nest. So Pharaoh fills up the nest with warm food and a full sense of safety. And they know us better than we know ourselves. They've entirely analyzed the human behavior through think tanks, psychologists, psychiatrists, and psychoanalysis. Yes, they know perfectly well that a woman cries when she wants and laughs when she can. And Pharaoh provides it all, making her happy, using the authorities of Pharaoh to take away the man's children and send him to war so he will die and won't indoctrinate his sons. And unbelievably, two world wars didn't touch Pharaoh's base, Switzerland. And the Sœur d'Isis Su Suisse in French, meaning Switzerland, Sisters of Isis, or European Eve. Because no more Horus Matrix necessary in Octagon's base of evil, Switzerland, which is none other than the Bible's whore of Babylon, with whom all nations traded and got drunk with, with Octagon's Swiss Templar banks, the very first and only banks in history, for all banks in the world are in fact Swiss Templar banks of the whore of Babylon in the Alps, where all the money is, all treasures and all NGOs. And she, the whore of Babylon in the Alps, sits on the Scarlet Beast, which is Switzerland. And you must understand that the Vatican belongs to the Swiss Nazi Templars of Pharaoh, with Swiss police and Swiss military, the Swiss Pope's Guard occupying and ruling over the Vatican. And she is drunk with the blood of saints and martyrs, as Switzerland financed all wars, organized two world wars and ordered the murder of saints, God be God's beloved people and Europe's man. The whore of Babylon in the Alps sits on that beast with seven heads and ten horns. Because Switzerland has seven heads of state who divide ten ministries amongst themselves. And in Revelations 17, 11 from the Bible, it says how Octagon, the eighth of the Swiss Octagon Knights Templars, come out of the seven kings of Pharaoh in the Alps, with seven the number of the pyramid, and three two two square and compass of Pharaoh's New World's Order Freemasonry, and that Switzerland and their seven kings go into perdition. That means go to hell, Swissy. Okay, you still don't believe me? Then watch the satanic ritual of the whore of Babylon in the Alps in 2015. Watch video of the Pharaoh's show in which I explain that the water surrounding the Swiss beast doesn't mean water, but symbolizes the sea of peoples, as written down in Revelation 17.15.
there is no water around Switzerland and their seven kings and their octagon, the eighth. So all paintings of the beast in the water are wrong. The water is the sea of peoples. But there are seven mountains and seven heads of state in Switzerland, as described in Revelation 17, 9. The number seven is the number of the pyramid and its Freemasons with their square and compass symbol. Why so? Well, the compass stands at 60 degrees. So you can make the 60 degree triangular side of a pyramid with it, standing for the number three, for the three angles of the triangle, for Isis, Horus and Seth. With the square at 90 degrees, you can make the base of a pyramid with four angles and sides, representing the number four, for the four elements, water, fire, earth and air. So here, this thing here is the compass. It stands at 60 degrees. So you can make this here, the side of the pyramid with it. And this is called the square, it's 90 degrees, and you can make the base of a pyramid with it. So with this symbol here, so three and four together, that's why there's seven here, um, you can define a pyramid. So this is, in fact, the symbol of a pyramid. The square and compass, it represents the pyramid, because the Freemasons are all pharaohs, and the base is Switzerland. They're descendants of the pharaonic aristocracy. And as 3 plus 4 of the square and compass make 7 altogether, they've put the seventh letter of the alphabet in the middle, the G. Or 3, 2, 2, adding up to 7 for skull and bones. Secret society of the enemy within, from the whore of Babylon and the Alps and their Nazi Templars. I quote Revelation 17, 11, And the beast that was, and is not, even he is the eighth, and is of the seven kings, and goeth into perdition. Go to hell, Swissie.